Hey guys, Central Poxy here. Welcome to a new video. And before you like spam down in comments, like why, why you said you were gonna do something else. The update for the randomizer came out, and something I noticed. Sorry, don't, don't think about my cold. Uh, is that you have to be in the you have to pass the third gym. So, this episode, we're gonna pass the third gym. First, we gotta get past this guy, though. Whew. This, I am recording on the day of release. And today is the release of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I've had to try so hard, so hard not to look at spoilers. Yeah, I've watched like the first maybe five minutes of the game. Because that really doesn't matter. But all of, like, the lore stuff, I've not gone to. Uh. But. You know, I, because I want to play Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I just. can't get it yet. Okay, but today, this episode, what I want you to put down in the comments, sorry, is your favorite legendary, because every single legendary is going to be in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So, <coughs> jeez. So tell me your favorite Pokemon, or Legendary. By the way, when I do get to the randomizer, don't worry about me getting the experience share, I'll have it already. Because it carries over. Bubble Bee. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Let me look it up here. I'm pretty sure Cute's gonna evolve here. Jesus and a half. Let's see here, but I'll I'll just keep looking looking up. Let's see. Uh -huh. twenty five, yep. So we're getting Apollo World. Oh jeez. Oh wait. I just realized like we need a water stone to get polyrath. <clears throat> Most of you out there should know that. So, we're about to come upon an area where we can get a water stone. Oh, fudge. 
I forgot. He needs to be alive for him to evolve. Well, okay, we're gonna have to go heal him after this because otherwise he's not gonna evolve for a while. Well, actually, does he still evolve? I'm trying to remember. I think he might. Oh, air cutter. Sucker Punch, wow. This has been a good battle. Seven. What the heck? Power zero, power zero, power zero, power zero. Now this one does do damage. Oh, I see how this one works. So this one should do 22 damage. <clears throat> but now I got Sucker Punch. Oh, cute, still was, yeah. So, we're already one step closer to getting one of what I plan to be a final team Pokemon. Oh, I just realized something. Huh, I'll have to start thinking about that. But hold on. What Pokemon should be my first Mega? I've got three Pokemon here that can Mega. Okay, put it down in the comments, which one should be my first to Mega? I want, do you want a Mega Charizard, a Mega Alakazam, or a Mega Gengar? It's all up to you guys to choose. Which one you guys want? I'm I pretty much know which one I get. I likely probably won't keep the Alakazam. I'll probably get something else. Now I am going to mention something. I will, and I mean this for effect. Holy smokes, I've got a lot. How many Pokeballs do I have? Oh wow, really good at that, but. What was I saying? Oh. I'll likely replace Alakazam. Because having two ghost types and a psychic type, not necessarily the best idea. Uh, I'll always have a bug type on my team. That's something you'll notice, no matter what the team is, unless it's like a special, like, event, like, unless it's a fossil, no, not fossil, because there is a fossil book, unless it's like a pseudo-legendary team or something like that, I will always have a book type on my team. Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Brick Bronze, I believe I have a bug type in Pokemon, and Project Pokemon. Mids are just one of the things I really like. So if you couldn't tell, I really like Guzma. Oh, 
wants. This girl is afraid her parents will find her. She is Poco. But, if anything, they should be glad. Especially since she has a Skitty, one of the, like, really nice Pokemon. Now, if she had, like, fighting Pokemon, or something like that, yes, yes, I can see why your parents would be concerned about having a Pokemon like that. But, having a Pokemon that on <coughs> having a Pokemon like Skitty and Glammeow shouldn't do much. I mean, if she had a Char like Charmander, I if I were her parents and I didn't want her to have Pokemon, yeah, I can see that. A Skitty and a Glammeow, they're cats. They're literally cats. Like, these are like pet Pokemon. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Now, I've actually learned something, guys. Charmeleon is one of the worst second evolutions of starters he is wanna know why you probably don't but i'm gonna tell you anyways it's because he well he does have dragon rage which sets him way above all the rest but If, if you think about it, he gets Ember, and he only gets Flamethrower when he evolves. Therefore, until he evolves, he has Ember, the we one of the weakest fire-type moves in the game. Oh, shoot. But, where he's more of a stat. Charmeleon's more stat. But, even Quilava, Cyndaquil's evolution. So a Johto fire type middle would be able <coughs> to deal with, with with that because it learns Flame Wheel. Slightly better. Um, I know I'm pretty sure Combuskin learns like Fire Punch or something. Like, they all get, like, another fire move or extra, like, good moves in their middle evolution. Except for with, you know, one specific thing. But, go to the next level, and you know, it's pretty obvious who wins. Charizard and uh, Blaziken. They're the two strongest. Oh, and Inferno. Kadabra Vix Kadabra. See who wins. Let's just, uh, just end this a little quicker. So, yep, yeah, that did 22 damage. So, Nightshade's really good the higher level you are. Oh, you just disabled it. So now I'll do 23 damage. 
see where I'm saying with this? Wait, my policy only covers rock type Pokemon or sturdy? Personally, if you had a rock type sturdy team, you wouldn't have had to deal with me at all. Although I do have Poliwag. Now, let me teach you guys something. I <clears throat> have already gone through and beaten uh, or not been, uh, gotten, like, been the second gym and all that in the randomizer. And you'll notice in the randomizer, being all Pokemon are randomized, it's a lot different. <coughs> you normally want to sell every item you can before, you know, as soon as you can. Because you'll probably waste all your Pokeballs on the first row. Don't tell me he used Yawn. Dang it! Stupid Bidoofs. <laughs> Ha! But, anyways, what I was going to tell you. So, you normally sell everything you can. And also, when you start, you're given the option of 18 random Pokemon from the, what is it, like, 800 and something Pokemon? And you'll likely see at least one legendary or mythical. Do not choose it unless it's like Rayquaza, Arceus, or something really good. Because otherwise, it will be... Uh, you'll... Because if it's like one of the good Pokemon, you're substituting in... Two things. You're substituting in strength, so you're adding strength to your team that's worth it, instead of having a high level Pokemon. Because legendaries take longer to level up. I have a, I chose a Thunderous for my main randomizer. And I now have a Quillava as a starter kind of Pokemon. Because it is definitely better. Y you would be able to tell. Because Thunderous right now like is level 14. Where my Quilava is like level 22. And I haven't gotten to this point in the game. So I still got like. I'm a little bit before this. So I I'm not like. And you're always going to be a little under level. Because in this we're always doing stronger Pokemon kind of. And that you could end up facing like a Wurmple. But you could at the same time end up facing an Arceus. It's slower moving. I 
actually, I'm a randomizer. I might not be. No, in the randomizer, I'm pretty sure I am. Now, what I'm interested to see is how we're going to do, uh, what's it called? Uh, route, what is it? Route 8? Yeah, Route 8. In a randomizer. So, if you didn't know, Route 8 in the randomizer is a uh it's one of the two locations so far that you double battle you double battle again in another area of which i will not state route eight is just because you two are both there you think hey why don't we just battle together Okay, they don't mean any harm, but they're doing harm. You know what? If you were the if he was the leader, I would smack him across the head with one of those logs or in the background. And then I'd Put him on top of the dam. But I'd break two sides off. So he can't get off. Without swimming. And then he'd see the problem with the dam. Not necessarily the nicest way to do it. But it should be how it's done. Oh my god, another ad. Oh, he's knocked out. It's a barrel. Unlike any other Barbaro life ever seen in my entire life. Right now I'm just looking up like what moves Polyrath learns so I know when to evolve it. So he's already learned Bubble Beam. So I'm not going to be involving him for a while. So I'll be evolving. Just you guys know. I'll be evolving. Cute. At uh, level 48 I believe. Because that's when. He learns. Uh, hi or not hyper beam. Uh. Jeez, what's it called? Uh, it's when he learns. Uh, <coughs> sorry. He learns something. What is it he learns? He learns.
Oh, he learns Hydro Pump. Why? Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on, wake up. Yeah. Yeah, we got rid of the bar barrel. <laughs> Woohoo, we got the bit barrels down. Bit barrel down. Mega Drain, yeah! Oh, I thought we might not even get it. Now we get, instead of Absorb, we get Mega Drain. 20 more power. Yeah! Now we just need Giga Drain. Another bit Barrel! Oh, come on. There we go. The battle asleep. <laughs> but <clears throat> I just realized that means you only have 20 more levels to go on Q, and that should be what? Did he just wake up that quick? Is anybody questioning that? That is insanely quick. I'd love to have someone, Charmeleon, or Alakazam, or a Worm Dude for this Pokemon. Actually, no, not Alakazam, just Worm Dude and Charmeleon. Okay. You kill me, I kill you. And not the pincer, the Lumberjack. You son of Oh, okay, you just heart. You just heart. Okay. Hypnosis. Why? Why? <clears throat> Spooky. First try. Hypnosis. Polyworld? Yep, don't worry. It takes him three times and he still does. 24 damage. It's not the best of things I could use. But Sucker Punch could fail and could miss. I believe it could miss. So. 
We win! <laughs> Finally. Thank God. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, thank God. Oh no, it's the boss! I just saw your voodoo stuff side causing all sorts of shenanigans. The gate to Luguna Lake was flooded over by water. This place hurts. I had to break down the dam with my Pokemon. We're sorry, boss. We just want to take a little break and have some fun. I don't mind you guys taking breaks, but you can't let the Badoops get out of hand. We won't let it happen again. We promise. No, you won't. I'm sticking around to keep an eye on you. Ugh. Now here's a something you should look. Now around around here from where I live, there is a what's called a ford. It goes over like a little creek or something. And it dips down. So it floods over all the time. This doesn't dip down. It literally is level with the water. Who designed this? Why didn't you use a bridge like you did over there? That would have been smart. I mean, yeah, more travel's gonna come through that. But, you know, just make a... Make Maybe make a stone bridge? Okay, now this is an extra long episode, I know, and I'm sorry. But here we are, Laguna Lake. One of my favorite places. Because of one. By the way, also, maybe, put down in the comments your favorite Pokemon City, no matter what the game. How much money do I have now? Ooh, 31,000. This is why. And this is why I extended this episode so long. It's because I want to do this. Laguna Lake. Welcome to the Laguna Lake Laboratory. Here we explore and study the bottom of the lake. How cool is that? So that makes me think maybe we might get a, another one of these except from the ocean. Oh, if that's the case, that might be something where you can get like a uh, Kyogre. But here we explore and study the bottom of the lake and what's been left behind by nature. Using the submer submer merci submersible, known as the underwater mining vessel, su submersible. That's a submarine, not submersible. We, ha we have sent many people deep down, deep below the surface in search of whatever they may find within the lake trunks. UMB is electric powered by these control batteries. You only approach. Blah, 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 blah. However, we do have enough to go down there once for free. It is just sort of just all the tutorial. I really hope we find one specific Pokemon. Or no, four specific. But here we are. So, we'll find items like this that we dig up. No way. I or <laughs> we already have a water stone. I thought I saw a sparkle.
By the way, this is not timed. It's ev whenever you move. But you can gain fossil poke front down here. And you can also find these. Those things. Uh, sky plate, like plates. Ha. Huh. Nice. These those things are worth a lot of money. No, oh, but you didn't get the thunder stuff. Okay. Oh, this is not the one I wanted, but it's still good. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have a fossil Pokemon. And there's our Thunderstorm. But you see what I said? Helix fossil. So I could give some of you guys hints on to what that is. Oh, it's when these things are common, so. Ooh, another. Firestorm. Did they maybe, like, up, like, the rewards? Because they must have. Oh, uh, is this the one? No, this is not the one I want. Oh, yeah, I got a heart scale. By the way, these little end corners are like really good. So this will likely be my last one. There we go. But if it's Oh, dang it, I just had to go over there. But, here, this will end the video off. Not really, I'll go. Come over here. Read the text and you'll see why. I can revive these fossils. They should add it so like when they put it in there, It'll, it'll turn into, like, the Pokemon, so you can see it. Almanite. So we got an Almanite.
These I will not nickname because for obvious reasons, I do not want to nickname these because you'll always forget their names besides Omnite. But so that's pretty much the point of this lap. You can dive, you can, uh, and then you can come out here and you'll notice I got a bunch of other items. You can sell some of those for one of those items I got. You can sell for a lot of money. So sell. Watch that. Shards, you just sell. They're so far in the game, no reason for shell for those. And you can really easily get them. Like, easily. These don't really help much, if anything. So look at that. I just raised my money a lot. And I got two new items. Or two new Pokemon. Omni and Lily. Look at that. I will not be adding either of those to my party. Do I have Ultra Balls yet? No. I'm actually going to. I'm not just. Yeah, I can. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click. Don't forget to scratch that like button to death. Oh, wait, I'll save. Just so you guys know I'm save. I'll save. But anyways, guys, don't forget to scratch that like button to death. Bye-bye.